I'm kind of I'm kind of losing. I, I just, I'm 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 losing patience here. Um, what are D and D doing? Are they like intentionally trying to ruin, or or Martin's work? Or do they really think that they're making the best decision on a story telling basis? Because right now, this whole season. I'm going to act like those football pundits. This season has been absolute shambles. An absolute disgrace. It's been atrocious, mate. What kind of flipping decisions are these? Did y'all watch Daenerys Targaryen's decisions? Spoilers alert if you haven't. Did, did y'all watch her burn that city down? Like The same, the same woman that was freeing slaves... And didn't want to be like the so-called crazy man. Said that she's not the mad king. Her father. Who was an absolute disgrace. Right? She literally said this. Then she proceeds to slaughter more people. Than the white worker and Cersei combined. How does that... In a storytelling basis. How does that make sense? The character's motivations... Have been absolutely flipped upside down for the sake of shock value. Not good storytelling. Think about it. So you have the nearest, right? Just just a quick reminder of the nearest, a young woman used by men, right? To gain power, right? And then she gets taken by the, the Drakis. The husband dies, she becomes the mother of dragons, frees slaves, yes, some of her punishments to individuals. Or elitist. This is very important here for character consistency, right? Elitists, right? She's been very, very clear on her stance on elitists, right? And she is unafraid to show mercy to them. A hundred percent, I agree to that. If she went and skinned Cersei alive or pluck, cut her piece by piece, I'll be like, oh, it's crazy, but it's a uh, within character. Right now, I'm not saying characters don't change or don't make mistakes or don't act out. She has done that plenty of times. But there's always a degree, right? There's always a degree of how much somebody does, you know, changes. There's that room, that wiggle room of a character that they swing around in. But there's always limitations, right? And there has to be something to push them over the edge. I, they just haven't convinced me that anything... Has happened to push her over the edge. Imagine she's afraid of people saying she's not the rightful queen, so she slaughters a million people. Because that's gonna convince them that you're the rightful queen? The same person that let people go because they wanted to do their own thing. Like the same. Like I just don't I, I'm I'm finding it extremely difficult to comprehend here the logic. How do you go from I'm going to save them, I'm going to stop the elitists, I'm going to fix my father's wrong my grandfather whatever his wrongdoings to I'm going to burn a million people, women, children, everybody. How does that add up? That just that to me is just at this stage is horrible writing. It's I mean if you're going to do like a Tion Rage or right that was a good well written story act. Like he's changed everything, the motivations, everything made sense. Everything made sense. Even when he did and you were shocked, it still made sense. When he comes back and he changes, it makes sense. You are convinced. That there is a hundred percent possibility that he could do this, or you know, if he does, it's like damn, it's not completely off his character, but it's still shocking. Oh damn, it's kind of off his character, but it makes sense in a narrative perspective. The nearest's action do not make sense from a narrative perspective. It's simply shock value for the sake of shock value. And I know people are gonna defend it like, oh my god, uh, we should have seen it coming because you know she's been a bit crude. Bro, there's a, there's a difference between, for example, right, I rob a store, right, and I've been robbing stores for, I don't know, five years, 
to I am going to I don't know blow up a town you see a difference yeah I mean it's like oh a gang member that kills people sure give them a nuclear bomb they're not gonna press that nuclear bomb because those people if they, if they have enough of a conscience to not do that there's no way in hell this character we've been watching the development of for 10 years that we know inside out would make this decision it just simply does not make any sense and let's 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 look at Tyrion. Tyrion went from a genius tactician winning battles doing the impossible to an absolute idiot that just trusts whatever his brother and sister say. The same person that does not throw his trust his sister as far as she could he could freaking flip and throw her. Like that same like he just I, I don't know when the bad writing started, but Jesus Christ, the pile up is ridiculous at this stage. Man, if D and D have ruined the show, and I think it's been hidden in the previous seasons, but now we're seeing how horrendous the writing is. Remember that witch? Her whole thing was because she saw that Jon Snow was the chosen one. Bran, the guy that can see everything, thought it was Jon. Snow. I'm not even going to repeat how useless Brian is in this damn show. It, does, it literally makes no sense to have him as a character at this stage. Literally. Zero sense. It's like they build up this ante anticipation and climax and just... Pff, oops. This is what happens instead. He just gets stabbed. Winter is coming to last 10 minutes. Really. One night. Wow. I'm really scared of the undead now. Really? And it's getting worse and worse and worse. You know what? The strange thing is, characters that people don't really give a shit about are getting the best story arcs. The Hound. Great story arc. Who gives a shit? Do you know who we care about? Daenerys. Do you know who we care about? Jon Bloody Snow. Do you know who we don't care about? Freaking Cersei's brother. Like, this is so stupid, man. I don't even... I don't get it. I just don't get it. Like, narratively speaking, this shit is just dumb. Like, it's like the writers were just saying, how shocking can we be on a scale of 1 to 10? The, the fact that they sat in that room smiling as if they made some genius freaking moves is just baffles me at this stage. This is terrible writing. Honestly, I could write a better freaking ending and I'm not that's not, you know, taking away credit from whatever work they've done outside of Game of Thrones, but the Game of Thrones effort has been terrible since they've lost the they went past the books. And I feel sorry for Or Or Martins and to be honest, D&D should freaking apologize cuz this is a disgrace. 10 years of effort and time spent on this to create the most freaking underwhelming ending of, of all time. Daenerys turning out to be the villain. She was essentially the bloody main character. Ah, oh, I don't even know, man. This is just... This is just bad writing, bro. You know, Anakin turning evil, despite as much as people want to shit on, you know, the, the, the freaking prequels of, of Star Wars... Him turning into a villain is very compelling. It's very... You know what I mean? You get the three movies. You can see the signs much clearer. He makes some... He does some crazy actions that can say, Okay, this guy just killed a few kids. There's no reason I can't see him killing up a whole army or some shit like that. You know what I mean? There's no reason. I, I, you can see it happen. It's not a far stretch of imagination for him to jump from one extreme to the next. Daenerys just literally jumps from innocent trying to save everybody to slaughter a million people. The butcher of the land that she's trying to rule. The same person that said that, well, there is no land to rule if everybody's dead. Uh, guess what she does? She kills everybody. She already got the north. 
why would you make the note be your enemy tenfold? Like, it's just... Oh, man, guys, I don't even know at this stage. I, I don't even know if I want to watch next week's episode. I've committed, like, freaking seven years at this stage, so I might as well finish the bloody thing. But at this stage, I actually just don't give a shit anymore. I had to skip a bit of the parts in the episode because the battle was shambles again. Like, it was so unfocused. It was just... I'm just, I, I've just, like, given up at this stage. I'm not expecting a good ending. For me, Game of Thrones ended in Season 7. That's all I'm going to say. Really, maybe Season 4. But, disappointment. Yet again.